If you're looking for another delicious way to eat your greens, this is it. Rapini Poriel with flavors from the south of India. The thing I love about South Indian food is the variety of delicious vegetarian dishes available. There are so many, and today I'm gonna to share with you how to prepare a poriel with rapini. So rapini is also known as broccoli rob. It's available largely around this time in North America, as well as in Europe. You might not see it in India, but this is my mom's recipe and her take on this local vegetable. But you can use just about any green leafy vegetable that's a bit bitter in this recipe, okay? So the very first thing that we're gonna do is prep our dal. I have some thur dal here. They're also known as pigeon peas. And I'm gonna top them with a little bit of water and rinse them several times until the water runs clear. Then I'll add them to a pot, top them with more water, and add a little bit of turmeric to season. We'll bring it up to a simmer and cook it for 10 minutes until it's tender but still has a bit of bite and holds its shape. Then we'll drain it. Our dal is prepped and now it's time to work on our rapini. So this is what rapini looks like. It's also known as broccoli rob, and those are the two names that you can look for at the grocery store. It's a nice leafy green that's a bit bitter, and all I'm gonna do is finely chop it. And you won't believe it, from this point on, it'll only take about five minutes for us to prep the poriel, which makes this the perfect dish to cook any time. So to a large wok, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, and once it's hot, I'm gonna add some urad dal. I'm gonna toast it until it's barely golden, and then I'll add some mustard seeds and allow them to crackle and pop. For a little bit of heat, I'm going in with some dried chilies, and I love the fragrance of curry leaves. We're gonna toast those off until they're just vibrant. I'm gonna increase the heat to high at this point, and we're gonna add in our chopped rapini and season with salt to taste. I'm gonna saute the rapini for about four to five minutes until it's just tender and then fold in my cooked dal. And just like that, our rapini poriel is ready. I've gotta say, I love the colors on this dish, the green, the yellow of the dal, that bright red chili. Let's grab a little bit of everything. Mmm. Mmm. Mom's recipes are solid recipes. So the very first thing that you get when you bite in is that bright green flavor of the rapini. It's a touch bitter, but it does have a bit of sweetness to it, and it's complemented so well by all those spices, those mustard seeds that just pop in your mouth, the toasty urdal that's crunchy, and the heat of the chili, as well as that beautiful pine-like curry leaf that comes through. So the next time you're looking to switch up your vegetable game and do something a little different, consider a poriel. You can make it with just about any leafy green and it's going to be delicious. Mom approved.